Good afternoon guys, welcome to another episode of Bliss by Cars. Um, today is a special day because finally we've got some sun in Sydney. We haven't had love for the last four days. Um, I'm here behind my RX-7, it's our 400 horsepower car. So today's the day I'm going to do an in-depth review of this car. So a lot of you guys have been asking questions of what it is, especially in India, they don't know what a rotary is. So um, I'm going to explain that, I'm going to show you how the car drives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, sit back and relax, like, share, subscribe if you like the video, um, it all helps. So let's go and drive this beast. So guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is starting this car. Starting a rotary is not an easy job. They're very temperamental cars and you have to warm them up. Now luckily I've driven the car for about an hour. So we sat here for a little bit setting up. So it's a bit warm. So right now the temperature is about 80, 85. So it's warm enough. But I'll show you how this thing starts. It takes a few goes. Mostly happens to a lot of rotaries. So it basically seems like it struggles. So it'll turn off and then it'll turn on again. You don't need to press the accelerator. The thing has to idle itself until it doesn't. It won't go, it won't run well. So that's something you have to keep in your mind. Very important. So now it's idling itself. I can rev it a little bit. And I've got my aftermarket Apexi computer, temperature 79. So I'm, I'm ready to go. So I've just taken off from where we uh, started the car and this car uh, has a turbo, it's a T40 Garrett turbo and it does a good top end but a lower end or rotaries struggle unless you've got a lot of work to it. So this is a single turbo conversion, they come twin turbo, so it's got a bigger turbo and it's got a bridge port in it. A bridge port is basically um, drilling of holes in different places in the engine so it can breathe better. So the better the rotary engine breathes, much better airflow it's going to have and it's obviously going to give you more power. And also different sounds, so different kind of ports, you can have a bridge port, a hard port, um, and there's, and there's lot, lots and lots of other ports out there. So um, right now I'm cruising at about 55 and I'm at 3000 RPM. Uh, it's very smooth, they're much smoother than piston engines and this car redlines to about 9000 RPM, that's not bad for it. The capacity of this engine is only 1.3 litres and it's producing nearly 400 brake horsepower so it's something out of this world, it's not heard of in a, in a 1.3 litre engine unless you, know, you change the cams, the shafts and everything else but this engine runs. So below 3000 RPM the turbo doesn't kick in, it'll kick in after that. So you got a bit of a feel of what that sounds like. It is absolutely ballistic. Um, this car is not that fast compared to other rotaries that I've driven and a lot of my other friends have. Um, you know it just depends how much money you want to spend on your builds and how much money you're willing to spend for maintenance as well um, a lot of people have a misconception of these cars are hard to maintain they're not um, I've had this car for 14 years now and I was a kid when I bought it I didn't know much about rotaries I like the shape of it because I think it's one of the best looking cars for its era and this is 2018 this car is 18 years old it's a 2000 model this shape I personally believe is timeless um, competes with cars of today's age, uh, of today's era, designing sense and you have to also put into the fact that if this car came out in the year 2000 but the Series 6 came out in 92, that was the first time this shape came out, there's not much differences in them. So the production and the designing and testing of this car must have started 10 years prior to its release. So I, I will, I'll, I give my hats off to all the engineers who designed this because you know it's 2018 so you're looking at at least 20 
18 plus 10, that's nearly uh, 28, um, 28 years of a great design and it's still, people still drop their jaws. The internals of the engines, I'll put some images up so you guys can have a look. It will give you an idea of the shape and the size and the flow of the engine, how it works, how it sparks, how it is able to give you so much RPM. So guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a power pull in this car. Just have a look how much it accelerates quickly. Woo! Oh man, I could never get enough of that. That for me is absolutely, ugh. So guys, what an amazing day we had. Went up to the National Park in the RX-7. Um, schedule by is driving it right now because I'm pretty tired from shooting and doing um, all the fun stuff. But um, it was an amazing day and I got to see some really nice sights which you must see in this video. It's very, very cold. So I have put on this, um, keeps me set. But although it's very hot in this car always, that's another thing to mention that these cars these cars have a tendency of heating up a lot so you cannot drive them a lot in still traffic or in city traffic that's one thing to look out for you need to keep them cool the cooler they stay the more life you're going to have that in in that engine um, i hope you enjoyed this particular show because it's close to me this car is is something that i've dreamt of when i was a kid and I was lucky enough to get it. I worked really hard for this. So this car has been very special to me. I've been through ups and downs. It's been it's been through hell and back, but thank God now it, it, it's, it's in very good condition. So I hope it keeps going like this and we might have future modifications later on. Uh, but for now, thank you again for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you can like, share, and subscribe our videos. Thank you.